out here today with our latest update to the JK. Um, as you can tell, this uh, best top, this is the original Trek Top NX, I believe is what they called it. This was the precursor to the one with the removable windows. So the problem I'm having is in the Florida heat, you either run with the top up and the windows up and the AC running or you take your side windows and your back windows out and run with just the bikini top or the mini or safari top, whatever people like to call it. Um, so I've decided to go ahead and take this top off. The only thing I've ever had to do with this top is inside there is this top prop, which is an extra bow that I installed from Skid Row Off-Road. I believe I bought that through I'm not even going to say who I bought it from because I really don't buy too much from them anymore. The only reason for that was the pooling of water down here in the Florida heat. If you've got 110 degrees and the sun's beating down on my top and then it decides to rain, there's no way to get that water off your top without soaking yourself or your passenger. And unfortunately, I don't usually wait for my passenger to get in, so I step up on the side rail, pull myself in, and as soon as I pull any weight on it, it sets it off balance. All the water comes rushing on me and I have to go change my clothes. So that's why we put that top prop in. And now, since I can't take the side windows off, the top's not bad. I've got a little tear in the window I'll show you in a few minutes when I take it off, but it it's just time. Time to upgrade so I can run without these side windows. And my favorite co-pilot, Ruby, is... Well, I'm going to catch crap over that, aren't I? My second favorite co-pilot, Ruby, is going to... She's, she's not a spotter, so she's just a co-pilot. She can see out the side windows when we're on the trail. Well, here's what the FedEx guy dropped off for me today. My Rampage trail top. Hmm. I think we might actually read these. That window. Oh, I like this already. Nice and clear. I'm not going to lay this on the ground. Here it is. The whole reason of purchasing the top is the removable windows. Hmm, I like this. Bummer. I'm going to have to attach the header, obviously. Got our solid bow for across the back. That'll help with the flapping. The top won't flap because of this. This is the very back of the top. Oh, yay. Let me get my handy dandy box. There we go, there's the header. I was hoping that was going to come pre-installed, but it didn't. Looked like the corner pieces for the back windows. Now I ain't going to lie, I don't know what that's for, but we'll figure it out. Header. And we got another box underneath. Let's look at
Oh, surrounds. That's unusual. See, these replace the factory surrounds. This is their version of the factory surround, which is probably going to be more secure than reusing something from the factory that's, uh, what, seven, eight, eight years old? I'm not using this to cut, I'm just using it to push the tape and break it rather than my fingernail and ripping a finger or using a knife and cutting everything to bits. There's no warranty on stupidity. What is this? Is these more bows? Oh no, this is the tailgate bar with the gasket. See? And I wonder how they attach this. This is good. See this right here? This is the channel where your, your gasket's going to go. I'm going to imagine somehow. Like I said, I'm going to have to read this. Read the directions. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, let me get the rest of this unboxed, and then we'll lay it out, and I'll give you a tour of what I think it is what it looks like. Okay, so here's everything that came in the box for this Rampage Trail View top. Now by Trail View, this is the top that will flip back. This front section will flip back. Not that, I, I don't think I'll use that a lot, but I mean it's, my wife might use it. I won't use it that much. If I want the top off, I want the top off. And I prefer to run a bikini top and not get the direct sunlight because I've done that before and I wasn't as far south when I did that the one time and I burnt to a crisp, even with the sunscreen. So there's a lot of hardware in here. Now you can see I didn't open this because it was marked left. The other side was marked right, so I opened that up. But, all right guys, so here we are, less than 24 hours later. Would you look at this? It's beautiful. Can you believe that less than an hour ago, it was pouring rain here? I love Florida. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this top off. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and start in the back and show you right away that window that's torn. Come on. All right, so I think you can barely see it. This is another issue that I had. I put this gasket on the top of my tailgate because you're supposed to put it up on the tailgate bar but it didn't like to stay there so I just stuck it on here to see if it would work and it's worked for well over nine months with snow, rain but now we don't need it so at least not on this one bar. Pull this window out. I like to pull it out the side here. All right, there we go. You can see this is the only issue I've ever had with this window is it's a little bit torn and it's actually starting to tear on the other side too. But it doesn't leak back there at all. And the window is pretty clear, it's not too bad. You can just slide on. Yeah, another thing I did was they have these little tags that are supposed to hang down for pulling the top on and getting it off. I like to, when I push it in, I take that tag and 
I put it up underneath the top so it's not drooping down, getting dirt all over and holding. Because when you, your top drains, you get these little black streaks from them after a while, so that means you have to clean your top, which I haven't done in a while. Pretty simple. You should always try to work out a system for putting your top off and on because this, believe it or not, saves a lot of time. I can get this top on in, I think, about 10 15 minutes by myself without a camera, of course. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is just a couple bars. Wait till you see the one I'm going to put in. I, it's pretty well made. I can't believe it's a, an inferior product to. Uh, best top. This is the best top top I'm taking off and I'm putting on a rampage. Best Bought top. that through realtruck.com. Friend of mine, I'll put his information down below in the description and if you're interested you can call him and set something up if you want to buy something. Here's that top bow that I had added in to keep the water from welling up inside. A little fiberglass bow could be adjusted but didn't need to be. Uh, worked well. Okay, well that's it. The top's off. Now I'm going to get the parts out and set everything out that I need. Uh, they tell you don't bother setting the windows out till you get the top on because the windows are the last thing. So I'm going to leave them safely in the garage and I'm going to try to get the top on. But I'm going to take a minute to set everything up and get it ready. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the door surround that I have assembled. There's a plastic piece here, an aluminum channel, and it's got this uh, the soft velcro on this side, little velcro on this corner piece, this came together. This elbow and this aluminum channel were already assembled. And then there's this aluminum channel here with the plastic on the bottom, a screw that holds that, screw that, holds that piece in. Um, up here it has this little turn bolt thing right there that holds that together. And then this is what goes around the front and molds to basically where your windshield's at. And then you have these brackets that there are five screws, three on this side, two on this side, and these go on. Now I will tell you, in the directions, they do not differentiate between the front and the rear. And if you take a look, this one, wait a minute, there we go. This one is the front. This one is the rear. Do you see the difference? I know I do. This one is longer. This is the one that goes on the rear. It goes to the rear. That's what holds it out because your roll bar actually tapers in as it goes back. I didn't know that. Um, they don't say that in the directions. You kind of have to guess. I got lucky, but I didn't start a single screw in this until I set it up there. I just form fitted it, test fitted it. What do they say? Mocked it up. That's that's what those pros on TV say. That well, I mocked it up. Okay, so I put it on and then I checked to make sure that was going to work. Shut the door on it. So there we go. Now all we have to do is set this little pin in place. Make sure the rubber goes on the right place here, and then put the screws in, they give you those little head screws. Now, they say these are stronger than the factory uh, door surrounds. I have no idea. I've never owned a JK with factory door surrounds because this Jeep, when I got it, had a hard top. And that was the only soft top I've ever run on it. And I do not, I don't recommend that, that top, but, I will say they perfected it, made it better, 
and they no longer make that top without the removable windows. They, I, they may have had a few of them, but they were super cheap. They sold them off just to get rid of them because nobody really wanted them. I bought it. I bought it secondhand, and it worked. I think I got almost four years out of that top because I put that on immediately when I bought my Jeep. So I don't know. I haven't. I, I don't do the math on that kind of stuff. It's not important, but it's been years I got out of that top, and it does, still to this day doesn't leak. But that top. I, I got to be able to take the windows out. So all we're going to do, I'm going to bring you closer. Now this, this goes in this hole here and sets down here. And that's that. And then on the top, this is a little bit of a stretch because this piece sticks up a little high until you get it in there. So what you got to do is you got to make sure your roll bar padding is out of the way. Slide it in place. Line it up. And then on the front here we have to make sure that this rubber stays where it should or we're going to have a leak. I really like the way this seals up. It's way better than that best top. But again, like I said, they've probably improved that, but I'm not paying $1,600 for a Twill Best Top Truck Top NX just so I can take my windows out. And it's just too heavy, too bulky, nowhere to store your windows. And we'll get into that later. This piece goes on top of your, your roll bar and, and is fastened down by these same bolts these screw bolts or easy turn bolts, whatever you want to call them. The directions are not very clear and the pictures absolutely suck. I downloaded from their web, from a website, actually I use Quadratex website, and I downloaded and they say right in the directions, the illustrations may not represent what you got. <laughs> that ain't no lie because it looks nothing like this. In fact, these are uh, bare metal in the pictures on that, at least the one, and, and actually that's the one that was easy to see. But when they print the directions they send you, they're in black and white. They print it from a PDF and it prints out and they staple it together and they send you that and you're supposed to be able to see it. Well, it works if they use drawings, but if they just take pictures and they're horrible pictures, they're not bright enough, they're not, they shouldn't be printed in black and white. They should be printed in color. Just, just a suggestion, guys. Um, but this goes curved in towards the front. Goodness. Curved in towards the front. And this section goes to the back. And if you look, these tabs that stick up that are going to hold your hardware, this is for that um, the trail view option, which is on here. I, I don't really think I'll be using it much. We'll see. I think the wife might use it rather than take the windows out just so she can get some sun on her face. Um, these go towards the interior. These tabs go towards the interior facing up with the rounded piece towards the front. It's that simple. Um, I would suggest lining up your hardware and putting the screws in like I accidentally did because that was actually kind of tough to get those lined up and started. So. Just don't lean against your piece and you'll be fine. Remove the screws, set it in place, tighten it down, and that way your part goes back together easy. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this footman loop that's mounted on your windshield. We're gonna remove these. This is a T25 Torx bit. It does say that in the directions. And you're gonna reuse this hardware. Now these are painted, so you got to put a little pressure to get it in place. And I will say, do not lose these because this is probably a Jeep only part. And if you're familiar with Jeeps, if you've had them well, silly things like uh, U-bolt for your drive shaft. The screws for those are like six bucks a piece. And they don't like it when you go in and buy one. They want you to buy a set of them because 
they have to order them in quantities of like 25 something like that so now we're going to replace it with this piece we're going to put this on the bottom see this angle right here that goes towards the bottom we're going to put that in place right there i think we're going to tuck that in there. yep we're going to tuck that up underneath the plastic because i don't want to pinch the plastic and destroy that plastic and interior stuff so that's what we're going to do and what will happen is this will grip the top and when you push in it pulls and it's got you can see there's a screw on there i mean a nut and this screws in so you can adjust it to tighten it so when you put your top on finally we will we will set that and we will adjust it so that it is snug okay that's what it's going to look like once we get it installed it's a little tough to get it up above there but you got to put it in before you put the second bolt in put start one bolt twist it and then get it up above this plastic here and then put the second bolt in torque it down to the proper specifications unlike me i just used the monkey tight. Sitting out in the sun, getting warm while I was putting everything else together. I'm going to lay it on its back. Here's your hardware for putting this all together. I believe this goes this way. But <clears throat> Slide it in. Hit it. You can see the snaps. That's a good thing. You guys didn't tell me that. I'm gonna go ahead and snap this. All right. Slide this other end in. I think. Look at this. I like these little storage pouches here. Oh, look at that Velcro. I better put that on. I'm going to lay this up across my windshield. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just taking these arms with the uh, included bolts and lock nuts. Wait. Goes from the other side. No, it does go from the side. What's wrong with me? One at a time, getting them started. I'm going to go ahead and suggest that you set the top up vertically like this to get the second bolt lined up. And then you just grab it right here. <sighs> Once you're tight and in place, take your little hook and loop like this, put it up there. Ta-da! Okay, before you snug these things down, make sure you get your straps in the back and this top lined up and centered and pull it back so it's down over the back of this where it's supposed to be. And it lines up on the top like this. Because what I had was I had this up over this channel. This front piece was not on the rubber. So I had to tug it back I released this, tugged it back a little bit, and then re-cinched it down so it fits right. It might take a little bit of playing with it a bit to get it where it needs to be. You're thinking, what is this fool doing now? Well, one of the big reasons I bought this top is everybody complains. There's nowhere to put my windows. Nowhere to put my windows. Well, they got you covered. We've got a nice little pouch up here to put our windows. 
And I'm not going to say this is going to hold everything, but does this fit? This is the back window. <laughs> My goodness, it fits. So I'm going to put that. Oh, there's two sheets in the middle. Look at that stuff. I'm going to lay this, this is the inside. I'm going to put it on here this way. That way, when I go to take it out, it's already oriented in the proper direction. Slide one in. Nice and snug. This far, you have the capabilities to do the rest of this. Just read the directions. I'm sure it just Velcro's right in there. Those new windows. Put the back windows, the side windows on, and the back window on. It'll hook into here, oh, into this, and across the bottom. Okay, so I will tell you, this is extremely tight. What you have to do is you have to go back up front, loosen the front, loosen everything so that you can get the material together and zip both of these sides together and then just let it sit in the sun. Yeah, there we go. Wiped off, wiped down again. But it looks like it fits. Got it all closed up. still does this fun funky little thing. It goes all the way in. They need to make some sort of a transition from this to here to hold that top out because it just sucks right back in. I don't care for that a whole lot. But it is on. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. I don't like the way this sits. If you look at it, it's kind of up off the tailgate. I, I get it. But, don't know if it's supposed to do that. But if you can see, there's wrinkles at the top. It's probably not stretched. And the sun is already starting to go down, so I don't have time to uh, go back over this. I have to get it out again tomorrow and stretch it for a better fit. Okay, guys, so that's it. That was the installation of the Rampage Trail View soft top. That includes all the hardware it takes to go from hard top to this. So if your soft top has junk hardware with it, your surrounds are going bad, this top includes that. So again, I will leave a link down below. Not really a link, but I'll put his contact information for Chuck. And uh, go ahead and reach out to Chuck at realtruck.com and he'll hook you up with what you need for your Jeep. Have a nice day. Thank you.